When I think of this trip, I see David and me in the front seat of his car. He wants something better than he has. I want precisely what he has already. David Wallace, welcome to Minneapolis. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm David Lewis. Oh, How are you? Hi. hi. OK, David and David. We only just met. He's writing a piece on the tour. What's this story about in your mind? Just what it's like to be the most talked about writer in the country, that sort of thing. You're like a nervous guy, huh? <laughs> no, 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 I'm OK. How are you? Because I'm terrified. I got to ask, what is with the bandana? I know that it's a security blanket for me whenever I'm kind of afraid my head is going to explode. <laughs> We ate like this all the time. What would be wrong with that? It's like good seductive commercial entertainment, like uh, like Die Hard. Uh, first Die Hard? The first Die Hard. Great yes. film. No, it's a brilliant the film. The best. Hey, isn't it reassuring to have a lot of people read you? I think if the book is about anything, yeah. it's about the question of why. Why am I doing it? And what's so American about what I'm doing? If um, they're responding to your work and your work is really personal, then reading you is another way of meeting you, isn't that right? That's so good. Thank you. I don't know why you mean to me. I think that if there's a sort of sadness for people under 45, it has something to do with pleasure and achievement and entertainment. Like a sort of emptiness at the heart of what they thought was going on. I don't know. I got a real serious fear of being a certain way. I treasure my regular guyness. You don't crack open a thousand page book because you heard the author is a regular guy. You do it because he's brilliant. What is with you? What is with you? I'm not so sure you want to be me. Just be a good guy. The, the more people think you're really great, the bigger the fear of being a fraud is. David thought books existed to stop you from feeling lonely. Living those days with him reminded me of what life is like. And the conversation is the best one I ever had. It's me talking as a tape recorder. I'm smoking, I haven't just said I wouldn't smoke, I'm smoking. Just me and your tape recorder.